Hey guys, so today we're going to be making a set of wirelessly controlled animatronic hours. I've been wanting to do this project for a while, and when Quantum Integration launched their new motor and servo driver board, this project immediately came to mind. Their new board is based on the PCA9685 driver chip, so you can build a similar setup using an ESP32 or Arduino if you'd like. Make sure that you stick around to the end of the video today, because Quantum Integration are going to be sending one of you their full starter bundle and first set of DIY boards. I'll let you know how to enter the giveaway at the end. I started out by drawing up a 3D model in Fusion 360. I knew roughly what I wanted the final set of eyes to look like, but naturally I had to make a few tweaks along the way. I wanted the eyes to be able to move left and right as well as up and down, so I needed two servos for each of them. I also wanted to have eyelids that could blink, and in future maybe wink independently, so I needed another two servos for those. At the centre of each eyeball is a small brass universal joint, and I'm going to use thread to connect each of the eyeballs to the servos, rather than using solid push rods. I had to go through a couple of trial prints to see what tolerances and clearances worked well. My first eyeball was too big and got caught on the eyelids but making them too small also left large weird gaps between the eyes and the eyelids, so that was not good. But eventually I had a set of 3D prints that could be assembled into a working set of eyes. I'm going to be using these two small universal joints. These were just ones that were locally available. I'll try and link similar ones in the video description, but you might need to make some minor adjustments to fit the ones that are available to you. You'll also need a range of M2 screws and nuts and then some cotton thread or thin string to connect the eyeballs to the servos. Let's start by adding the thread to the eyeballs. We just need to glue a 10cm length of thread to four opposing inside edges of each eyeball. We can then press the universal joints into the 3D printed bases. Mine are a tight fit, but if yours are a bit loose then you can hold them in place with a little bit of glue as well. Just make sure that you don't get glue onto the joint pins or you'll lock it up. Then we can push the eyes onto the universal joints as well. Now let's add our eyelids. These pivot around some M2 screws on either side of each eye, and a 3D printed push rod is going to be connected between each eyelid and the servo behind it. The screws need to be adjusted a bit, you want them tight enough so that they hold the components in place, but still allow free movement. You might need to iteratively tighten or loosen them to get them right. Once we have our eyes and eyelids assembled, we can add our servos. I'm using 6 micro servos, 3 for each eye. These are just glued into place on the supporting faces as they're shown in the model. Install the servos on the second eye as a mirror image of the first.
Lastly, tie the cotton thread to your two front servos. This was quite a fiddly job, so I struggled to do it on camera. Make sure that you tie them off with a bit of tension on the eye to stop it from wobbling. And also don't screw the arm into the servo just yet, as you might need to adjust it once the servo is powered and centered. With that done, the eyes are now complete and ready to add the electronics. As I'm using the quantum integration system, I need a builder base to control the eyes, and I'm going to use one of their four new DIY kits, the motor and servo driver. This board allows you to control up to eight servos and four motors with the I2C interface on your builder base, so it's perfect for the six servos I'm going to be using in this project. The boards come as a kit with all of the surface mounted components pre-soldered. You'll just need to add the through hole ones, so let's get this board assembled. With that done, we can pair up our driver and builder base and plug in our servos. As mentioned earlier, the driver uses the I2C interface, so we just need to make connections to 5 volts, ground, SCL and SDA. The builder base is going to get its power through the servo driver board, so we only need to supply power to the driver board. Then just plug the servos into the driver board and we can move on to programming it. I'll put all of the pin assignments and connection details on my blog post, which is linked in the video description. Now let's have a look at the app to control the eyes. We've got two joystick inputs on the left, one for the left stick and one for the right stick. The left stick will control the eye movement, and the button on the right stick will control the blinking. These feed into the controls in our web dashboard, so that we can control the eyes from the dashboard as well. We have two analog sliders, one for the left and right movement, and one for the up and down movement, and then a button to blink. These then feed into some ranging blocks, which set the directions and travel limits for the servos, and then feed into each of the six servos on the right. So we have the left and right movement at the top, the up and down movement in the middle, and the blinking server at the bottom. Lastly, before we run the app, we need to create our builder base firmware to tell the builder base which server is connected to which driver output. I've started off by only enabling a single eye to test it, so let's see if that works. It looks like the eye movement is set up nicely, and the blinking works well too, so let's finish off the build by screwing the two bases together and marking the eyeballs with a pupil. Overall, I'm quite impressed with how well these turned out. The blinking works better than I expected too, and the cotton thread to the eyes also holds up quite well. I think solid push rods to the eyes would have been a more robust solution, but this works perfectly as a cheap alternative. What do you think of them? So as I said at the beginning of the video, Quantum Integration are going to be giving away a starter bundle which includes their Q server and two builder bases, as well as their four original DIY kits and a component kit. The component kit includes things like jumpers, a keypad, motion sensor, resistors and LEDs, so basically everything you need to get started building your own wireless electronics projects. 
All you need to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel and then like the video and leave a comment below suggesting a tutorial or project for a future video. In two weeks time I'll choose a winner, pin their comment and then the quantum integration bundle will be sent to them. The only limitation at the moment is that you'll need to be in a location that quantum integration currently ships to. So that's anywhere in North America, the UK, the EU and Australia. Thanks very much for watching. If you're interested in building your own set of eyes, I've just started up on Patreon and I'm going to be making the 3D print files and laser cutting templates for all my projects available to patrons on the platform. You'll also get access to my Discord server where we can share project ideas, help each other out with problems and hang out with like-minded people. I'm looking forward to seeing you all there soon. As always, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.